Eve, one of the biggest party nights of the year. But instead of partying, you know what I'm doing? Dish in the dirt. Is Balenciaga into child porn? Is Kanye back to his shenanigans? Who wiped their entire Instagram page? Plus, I got some Thanksgiving tips for tomorrow and more on this week's episode of Pop the Tea. Balenciaga received a lot of backlash this week after an ad campaign featuring young children holding teddy bears in bondage outfits were posted up. But the icing on the cake was the paperwork that was seen on the table in one of the photos. Let's take a look at this video. Quick update on Balenciaga using children to promote sexual deviancy and having them promote fetish gear. All on their website, everyone's called it out. There's receipts all over the internet at this point, including this document found on the same ad campaign with the children holding the fetish gear, talking about a court case where it was deemed legal to use virtual CP. This is said court case if you would like to research it yourself. And it's a good thing there's receipts everywhere because not only did Balenciaga suddenly leave Twitter, and they've also deleted every Instagram post. Are they trying to hide their tracks? I would like to remind you guys that this campaign was supposed to be an ad for Balenciaga's line for objects. They were literally objectifying and sexualizing children. At the point of making this video, it has only been a few hours since everybody has been talking about this and they're already cleaning up their tracks. Sexualizing children is not okay and they should not get away with it. Crazy, right? But this is why I love TikTok because the truth, it always quickly comes out and becomes unfolded by people like you. In fact, look at the things that are getting even worse now. Check this out. Oh my God. If you didn't think that Balenciaga was already bad with their first campaign, guys. Their website currently for November 23rd, 2022, they replaced all the pervy kid photo shoots with the bondage bears and all that with all of this, right? Take a look at this book, Michael Borman's. If you type it into Google, please be warned that these images are disturbing. I seriously have no words for Balenciaga and their set design because the choice of art direction is, let's just recount, the purse with the Ashcroft versus Free Speech Coalition literature, court docket, the Michael Behrmans, and then the children. I cannot even. Now, Google at your own discretion, okay? But all I'm going to say is Balenciaga products might end up in the dumpster with Kanye's Yeezys at the rate that they're going. This is not cool at all. Moving on, Todd and Julie Chrisley, who we know from the TV show Chrisley Knows Best, and of course, growing up Chrisley, well, they're both going to be going to jail. They were convicted of fraud and tax evasion. Todd's going to be in federal prison for 12 years. His wife, Julie, seven years at the same prison as sex trafficker Ghislaine Maxwell. Now, the reality show shows have both been canceled and their oldest daughter is going to be the guardian of her two siblings. So sad, right? This also means they're going to be spending their first Thanksgiving not together as a family. But as I always say, you do the crime, you pay the time. After almost two years of dating, Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde have called it quits. Or maybe they're just on a break. But bottom line, they are not together. He's still touring and heading overseas. She's back in LA on mom duty. And I gotta say, this really sucks for her. I mean, she broke off her engagement to Jason and Sudeikis to focus on her fling with Harry and now womp womp the fling has been flung and she is now single. Well we all knew that Kanye he was not going to stay quiet for too long because first he announced that he's going to be running for president again in 2024. And I'm sure that's going to go as well as it did in 2020. Then Elon reinstated his Twitter page as you could see and well that's the beginning of the floodgates being opened. But the icing on the cake was when he allegedly showed off naked pictures of Kim Kardashian and sex tapes of both him and Kim to the Yeezy staff at Adidas. Why? I mean, not only are they not together, but private intimate pictures and videos like that, that should never be shown to anyone. I gotta say, that type of behavior, highly disrespectful, especially knowing about her past and that traumatic situation that she went through. Imagine that this clip is where he was showing her intimate videos. Take a look. He's got, he's got 
I cannot. This is absolutely unbelievable. So by the way, that tweet that Kanye made about being at mar largo he actually went there to ask Trump if he could be his running mate in the 2024 presidential run. I'm sorry, what? You know I'm never going to talk about politics, but I highly doubt that Trump is going to take Kanye up on that offer. I mean, remember he was freaked out by Kanye's recent outbursts? I'm pretty sure that Trump would want to be the only person in that campaign to be the outspoken one. Don't you think? Because mm -mm, not going to happen. I'm just going to say that. I don't think it's going to happen. Kanye has truly lost his mind. And that is it. Again, we don't talk politics, but I definitely do talk about my opinions. And that's my opinion. Kendall Jenner and her NBA man, Devin Booker, have broken up again. And apparently it's because they're both really busy and have decided to make their careers a priority. And this is all according to a source. But I call BS on this source because we all know that you're never too busy for those that you want to see. I mean, last time they broke up, it was because he wasn't putting in enough effort and said that he would. But it looks like he failed that promise. Typical man. Well, we all know Harry Styles is newly single. Imagine him and Kendall end up dating again? Because I don't know if you remember, but they were linked multiple times from 2013 to 2019. I mean, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary, you know? Well, that was a new ad that Ariana Grande posted on her Instagram page to let us all know that she's about to drop a new perfume collection with Ulta Beauty. Two new scents are going to be available for the holiday season. Mod Vanilla and Mod Blush. And it's her first ever fragrance duo. Now you can look for that coming out December 1st. I'm definitely excited because Ariana Grande perfumes smell amazing. I can't wait to smell what these smell like. And you know, I'm going to put that on my Christmas list. If you want to put something in my stocking, feel free to drop not one, but two perfumes. Those two that you see right there in my stocking. Thank you. Thank you, Santa. <laughs> So Jennifer Lopez's social media page, it's gone black. Take a look. Her entire Instagram page was wiped, including her profile picture. Now, anytime an artist does this, it's usually because they're about to make a huge announcement, like an album or something big. And the last time she dropped an album was actually back in 2014. So either she's going to surprise us with new music or completely surprise us with maybe a baby announcement. I mean, when it comes to J-Lo, anything's possible and it's got to be something that's super huge. So imagine. Imagine J-Lo is having a baby with Ben. I'm not trying to break it or like, I'm not, I can't say I'm breaking news, but I can't say I'm like starting any rumors either, but you just never know when it comes to her. And that's why I'm saying it's going to be something big that she's going to announce to us. I pretty much assume it's going to be something that has to do with music, but imagine it had to do with her and Ben having a kid. <gasps> I would die in excitement, of course. Well, Taylor Swift was the big winner last weekend at the American Music Awards. She landed all six awards that she was nominated for, including Artist of the Year. Now, some other big winners included Kendrick Lamar, BTS, Harry Styles, and Bad Bunny. Congrats to all of them. Did you guys get to see the American Music Awards? I got to see it on repeat. I didn't get to see it live, but let me tell you something. Loved every moment of it. I am so glad I was able to see it. And big shout out to Wayne Brady, too. Man, her, it's his first time home Hosting. And let me tell you something, the man killed it. One of my favorite parts is when he was, you know, doing his freestyle. I love when he freestyles. I talk about it to everyone all the time, but I have to say the man is brilliant. And if you didn't see the American Music Awards, go check it out. It is up on repeat. You're going to love it. I promise. Lionel Richie picked up the Icon Award at the AMAs last weekend. And while he was on the red carpet, he was asked who he would love to collaborate with. Now, he said that both Bruno Mars and Ed Sheeran are great songwriters. So kind of now has me thinking, that these two should just reach out to Lionel so the three of them can drop an epic banger together. I mean, what do you think? I think that that would be amazing. Sign me up. I want to be in that recording studio when they are recording this. I just want to see it all go down. This would be absolutely epic. Not only did Adele have a great opening weekend at her Vegas residency, but she also announced that she was going to be adding more dates, including two New Year's Eve weekend shows, December 30th and 31st. Imagine ringing in the new year with Adele serenading you. Sign me up. Anyway, tickets went on sale today. They started at 500 bucks. But in my opinion, that's a fair price for a New Year's Eve event. I mean, a lot of people are dropping more than 500 bucks for New Year's Eve. Wouldn't you spend 500 bucks at the very least to see Adele perform on New Year's? I know I would. But then again, now you have to put into perspective how much you're going to spend on your flight and your hotel and all the food and your outfit. Because she does say in her post that she gets dressed to the nines and that she wants everybody else to be dressed to the nines. So I guess you're talking like a good two, three thousand dollar, maybe more weekend with Adele. I still 
it's worth it. It's Adele, right? Come on. Like I said last week, you're basically paying for the air that they're pumping into the, the entire arena. So, I mean, you get off. Not too bad spending 500 bucks by going. But that's just me. Mariah Carey is performing tomorrow at the 96th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Now, she made this post on Instagram saying that her childhood dream is coming to life and she's opening up for Santa. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Mariah. See you at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. than Mariah with Santa, right? I mean, also performing at the parade, you're going to get to see the cast and Muppets of Sesame Street, Ziggy Marley, Paula Abdul, Sean Paul, Blanco Brown, Big Time Rush, Jordan Sparks, and of course, so many more. My eyes are going to be glued to that TV tomorrow because I cannot wait. One day in your life, if you can, make sure you make it here to New York City to check out the Thanksgiving Day Parade live and in person. And that's all I'm going to say on that. So rumor has it Beyonce has not one, but two new albums on the way. I'm hearing one's going to be acoustic and the other is going to be a joint album with her husband, Jay-Z. Now, it has not been confirmed by her label or by her people yet, but I do remember hearing something that she was planning a trilogy. So hearing this now kind of all makes sense. Are you going to be happy? I know I'm going to be super happy if this comes out. Like I always say, I'm not a huge Beyonce fan, but I did like the old Jay-Z, not the new Jay-Z music, but the old Jay-Z stuff. So if you bring back old Jay-Z, with old Beyonce when she was like Destiny's Child Beyonce, then sign me up. That is the type of album I would definitely be on board for. Other than that, I'll pass. But otherwise, sign me up. All right, we're going to keep it moving. Amazon kicked off an early Black Friday deal on Monday, but they ended up screwing a lot of people. Anybody who ordered the Series 2 Xbox Elite controller ended up having their orders canceled on them because Amazon accidentally listed it for $60. It was supposed to sell for $180. So now what did they do? Well, they've decided to mark it down to $115 after their error. But still, I'm going to say not cool because they should have just honored the orders that already went through and ate that loss because it is not anybody else's problem that somebody at Amazon messed up. All right. Don't you agree? Come on, Amazon. Do better, please. You're already taking enough money from us. Are you still trying to get your holiday shopping done, but you're not sure what the hot gifts are to get? Well, of course, leave it to Google to create a list of the most searched gifts of of the year. Now they include a Ninja Air Fryer, a deep tissue massage gun, a Trex electric bike, a Samsung soundbar, even a Nintendo Switch Lite, just to name a few. Now, if you do want to see this entire list to get more ideas, just head over to shopping.google.com because, hey, they got you covered. Now, is it me or is dating like having a second full-time job? The dating app Hinge, they now added a new filter that helps you narrow things down even more. Now you have the choice to see profiles that are looking for monogamous or non-monogamous relationships. So basically, Mr. Right or Mr. Right Now. But what I don't understand is, if you're not looking for something serious, why are you even on a dating app? Doesn't the term dating mean intent to get to know someone? I mean, they should just dedicate an app to hookups so that we could separate the serious people from the non-committal ones. You know what I'm saying? This is getting out of control at this point. I have a feeling that the amount of weddings that are going to be happening are going to be next to none soon because nobody wants to commit. Nobody wants wants to be with somebody serious. Nobody wants to get married anymore. Nobody wants to do anything. The population is about to die. Either that or Nick Cannon really is going to be fathering all the kids in this entire world. I don't know what's going on lately, but something has to give. Please. Just these dating apps are too much already. I cannot. Anyway, beware of a new text scam that is going around about fake tax rebates. If you happen to receive a text that promises you a tax rebate or a refund payment and you're told to click a link, do not do it. Okay. In fact, never click on a link from a phone number that you don't recognize because it could expose you to identity theft or even give your phone a virus. But if you do receive a scam text, you can always report it at identitytheft.gov. You know, if you're a tattletale. Otherwise, just delete it. Get it out of your phone. You don't need it there. Goodbye. That's what I say. I get these random texts all the time. If I don't have your number saved in my phone, you're not important to me. Goodbye. Delete. So there's a new series coming to Netflix called Kaleidoscope, and there's something really cool about it. Okay. You can watch it in any order you want. I know, sounds kind of crazy, but basically the way that you choose to watch it can change the view of who did what to whom. Now it was based on a true story and it's a non-linear crime drama. And Netflix actually did something like this before with Arrested Development. But anyway, it starts January 1st. So you could kick off the new year with this craziness. You want to take a look at the preview? Check this out.
This looks so cool, right? What a way to kick off the brand new year. Completely binge watching it on January 1st. Then again, can you really call it binge watching if you watch it like a hundred different ways? Because if you could start with the end and go to the beginning or start with the beginning and go to the end or start with the middle, then go to the beginning, then go to the end, then go back to the middle. There's just so many different ways to watch this. I can't, I can't even understand how it's going to work, but I'm down to try it. And I'm pretty sure you are too. So remember the movie, The Goonies from 1985? Well, the house that was featured featured in the film is up for sale. It's located in Oregon. It's going for $1.7 million. And according to the Zillow post, it's fully loaded with history, nostalgia, and an iconic level of fame. Now, here's the thing. If Sloth comes with the house too, I think I'm going to pass. Because I don't know about you, but he always used to creep me out. Ugh, I will have nightmares every single night. Anyway, tomorrow is Thanksgiving and one of the biggest dishes on the table are mashed potatoes. But according to a few chefs, well, it seems like we've all been making them wrong. Just so you know, boiling potatoes in water can actually change the flavor. And do you happen to add all the liquids to the potatoes at once? Because if you do, you're doing it wrong. Also, do you use milk? Because if you are, you should be using cream instead. Just a few tweaks and you're going to have the perfect mashed potatoes to devour tomorrow. You know, I never thought about using cream in mashed potatoes. I always would put milk in them too and butter. But but now I'm gonna have to do the cream thing. That just sounds so delicious. Now mac and cheese, if that's one of your favorite dishes for Thanksgiving, I just learned about a spice that you can add, which is gonna take it to a whole new level. Just drop in about an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and yes, you can thank me later. Trust me when I tell you this, just try it out for tomorrow, and I think you're gonna love it. Now what is your pie of choice for this Thanksgiving? Because I know a lot of people think the default pie is pumpkin, right? But a recent survey showed apple pie as being the favorite pie at Thanksgiving. Now, pumpkin, of course, was the close runner-up, followed by chocolate pie. Now, I don't think I've ever had a chocolate pie. A chocolate cake, yes. But a chocolate pie? I don't know about that. What about peach cobbler? What about blueberry? Maybe lemon meringue or even key lime pie? All those pies are pies, but chocolate pie? I don't I don't think I've ever heard of or seen a chocolate pie, but I'm down to try it because I do like chocolate. So if you need an idea of what to do with all of those Thanksgiving dinner left Leftovers, you can make a turkey pizza. I'm going to link the recipe in the description, but basically you use Dijon mustard as the sauce. You top it with your turkey, some mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, cover it up with some cheddar cheese, a couple of dollops of that cranberry sauce that I mentioned, and then boom, you got yourself a turkey pizza. Looks pretty good, right? I'm not going to lie. I'd like to try it. Mm. Of course, saving the best for last. Do you love candy canes? Because then you are going to want to get your hands on these limited edition Twinkie flavored candy canes for the holidays. They're yellow and white and they taste just like a Twinkie. And if you want to get them, go to BlairCandy.com. They're pretty cheap too. I mean, listen, it's worth a try, especially if you like Twinkies. Personally, I'm not a big Twinkie fan, but I'd be down to try a Twinkie candy cane. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't you? With that said, I do want to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. Hope you don't kill your family because I know how it is when you get the family to come over and everybody's around and people are getting drunk. And next thing you know, there's family fights. Just promise me one thing. There's not going to be any family fights this year. You guys are all going to get along. You guys are all going to share. You guys are all going to in indulge in the turkey. And I don't know, maybe make me a plate because I love a nice turkey with some gravy, mashed potatoes, all that good stuff. But yes, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family and don't forget to subscribe and follow and spread the word about the show let your friends know where they could find us at star aka virtual that's star with two r's aka virtual you can find us on youtube on twitch or of course on tiktok and twitter because i'm there all week hanging out and chatting with you guys and with that said enjoy your week have fun and i will catch you again next week bye everybody <laughs> <laughs>